All right, so I'm back with something I've been wanting to try for a while. Finally pulled the trigger and ordered it. It's kind of hard to find in the US. I mean, I probably can't find it somewhere, but uh, I hadn't had any success. But I was very interested to try it ever since I found out that it existed. Um, and that thing is another one of these Amari. This one is called Jefferson. Um, and I mean, there are a few reasons why I really wanted to try this one. Uh, I was like, you know, trying to find out which Amari would be like more up my alley. I'm not a big mint guy, so I know there's like, uh, isn't there like Branca Menta? That's like a mint one. That's not really my thing. Uh, but I was looking for some that would be tasty. I've kind of enjoyed like drinking some of these. Um, and so this one is one that kind of caught my eye. First of all, the kind of has a cool logo thing and weird name. Uh, this is an Italian Amaro, but it is called Jefferson for some reason. Maybe they thought it sounded fancy. Maybe they were actually naming it after the US president, I don't know. And this one's also made with um, Calabrian citrus peel. Uh, so, um, a lot of the ones I've tried more on the herbal side, um, uh, various, I mean, this one will probably also be on the herbal side, uh, but other ones are like various combinations. Um, to me, at least, I'm not like a, um, it's not for the people that drink wine, um, not connoisseur, but you know, that thing, the thing, the people that drink wine, you know, good at tasting stuff. Um, I'm not one of them. Uh, but to me, like something like Montenegro that has like more of a licorice taste. Um, I tried Unicum, that one had like some like cinnamon, other spices and stuff. But there's a lot in there. And the, that one's like more on the bitter side. Um, something like Bechorovka, very obviously like that's but very strong like cinnamon and probably cloves and stuff. Kind of like Christmas spices and stuff. Um, the Ramazzotti, when I tried that one, that one seemed like very balanced. Um, and had like a little bit of citrus notes coming through, but also had like kind of like that's that kind of like spiciness. I think Chinar was also like, I don't know exactly what herbs came through. That one's like more on the sweet side, but you definitely get like that kind of like, um, more, more herbal, not so much on the citrus side. Uh, but this one's supposed to be a little bit more on the citrus side. I don't think it's like good balance, but, um, but interesting. So I guess we will give it a try. Um, this like shipped from Italy. It is from Calabria, which is like the toe boot of Italy. And I'm not sure how to open this bottle. It's a very cool looking cap. I don't want to like mess up this sticker, which is like a an Italian like import sticker. That's kind of cool. Like, shows they actually bought it from there. Uh, dang. I already peeled it off. Let's we'll see if I can figure out how to open this. Otherwise, you know, I'm gonna pause it and then I'll start it again once it's open. Yeah, I think it was meant to be one of those ones that you pull around the outside, but there wasn't any like tab open. Um, interesting. All right, so it has a cork. Oh, nice sound. Um, wow. That's very citrusy on the nose, like almost like, uh, I know like, it, it says there's like orange peel in it. There's orange and like lemon. It's like, you know, orange is, by the time it gets into like a drink like this, it's usually like more on the bitter side or sweet. This still smells very fresh. That's good. It says to enjoy this. Um, well, it says, Esolta il suo carattere servito sia a temperatura ambiente che freddo. It is a little bit cold. It says you can enjoy it either at room temperature or cold. This shot glass has been chilled. So, I'll pour this out in here. Very interesting. So, you can see that. That is a more of a light brown. Almost kind of looks like beer a little bit. So, it's like that color light brown. Um, Bekharovka is lighter than this. Most of the other ones are much darker than this, so it's like kind of in between. I guess it, um, 
so it's like darker than Becaraka, which makes sense. That one's, I think, more distilled. That one, I think, is like 40% spirit or something. Um, I might be wrong about that, but... Um, but most of the other ones I've had are much darker than this. Some of them are much more viscous than this, too. This is like kind of viscous-ish. Um, very interesting. But yeah, on the nose, I can smell a little bit of bitterness, but mostly like um, that kind of like fresh citrusy smell. So I'll, I'll do like a first sip. Interesting. Um, it's definitely like citrus forward, but it's kind of like mellowed out. It's very good. Um, how would I describe that? It's pretty sweet. I'd say that's pretty sweet, more sweet than bitter, I think. Um, so the alcohol comes through a little bit more. Um, and I would say a little bit less sweet than like a limoncello, but actually like, like very sweet, kind of pushing in that direction toward that like limoncello direction. It's got um, that orange flavor in there and it's got kind of like that medicinal herb flavor as well. So kind of like more, definitely more complex than limoncello, but I think kind of like in that neighborhood, like if you like limoncello, I think this would be a good one to try, this Jefferson, if you are able to find it. Um, yeah, very sweet, um, a little bit bitter, but not like very bitter, and um, a little bit of that medicinal flavor. So almost like if you took like a Montenegro, which has more of the like medicinal medicinal flavor, not so much of the spicy herb flavor, um, and you combine it with limoncello, it would probably be something like this, and it would probably look similar too. Actually, it would probably also be like this kind of like brown, uh, like like brown color. It'd be much easier than this, obviously, but this is actually quite clear. But yeah, that's pretty tasty. Pretty drink drinkable, pretty sweet, but definitely more citrusy than the other ones I've tried. The other ones, um, they have some citrus in them, but it's not like the primary flavoring. But this one, like, is kind of like the other way around. It's like mostly citrus, but has enough of that like herbal um, flavor to add some complexity to it. So I think that that's very tasty. It's uh, now the end of September. So after summer, but this would be, I think, like a very good summer sipper, <laughs> a good summer uh, digestive, good summer tomorrow. So they, that's very tasty. Um, definitely, um, definitely worth trying and fits very well into my arsenal of Amadi and other digestives that I have now. Most of them are, I would say, better, like more cold weather beverages, but I think this one is kind of fills that refreshing niche so yeah uh definitely worth a try as well <laughs>